Hey everyone, um, despite the circumstances in our country and communities right now, um, we are still doing our deep dive into TMJ. So last week we talked about TMJ dysfunction on our posts. Um, I was, I, we had done a poll before we started the TMJ dysfunction post and I was honestly pretty surprised at how many of you experience TMJ dysfunction on some level. Whether it's clicking, you get locked jaw, super tight, you get headaches from some of this tightness in this area. Um, whatever it is, I was just pretty surprised at how many. I mean, I knew a lot of people experienced that, but I want you guys to know that this is something that you can treat at home. And I wanna give you a tool today that will really, really help you with your TMJ dysfunction. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do self-massage on your jaw. And this is actually gonna be internal, so we're gonna go inside of our mouth. Um, and we get, we're gonna work this whole area. So the opening is here. Of course, we're not gonna work on the actual joint itself, but around the joint to uh, clear some of that up. Again, massage therapy will really help and we can really release uh, tension in your temporalis. We can release uh, tension in your masseters down into your neck as well. That will affect, that um, has some effect on TMJ. But this is something that I do on a lot of my clients that have TMJ dysfunction. And it's one of the biggest things that helps. And the fact that you can do it at home um, is awesome. So I'm gonna use a glove today. I do use a glove on all my clients. You don't necessarily have to use a glove on yourself, but with everything that's going on right now, I figured I might as well just, can never be too cautious, right? Um, it's gonna look a little bit funny because I'll be working on myself inside of my mouth, but this is what we're gonna do. Um, so I have a glove on my hand, and the first thing before we go in is I wanna tell you, just trust yourself. Don't let fear kind of get in the way of this, where you find, feel a tight spot in your mouth. Um, just work on it, press it, play with it, see what happens. And then if it feels bad, like a bone, so like if you press on a bone really hard, it doesn't feel good, right? So just keep moving and kind of move away from that itself. So I'll show you what I do and then I'll kind of talk afterwards. So I'm not trying to talk around my hand. So the first thing I do is I just go in. Well, I'll kind of give you a preview here quick. I, I'll go into my mouth and then I'll squeeze and pincer. And then I'll kind of work these muscles. So inside of our mouth, we have muscles called pterygoids, which are chewing muscles. And then on the outside, we have our masseter, which is a chewing muscle. And those three muscles, because there's two pterygoids, are some of the majority of our chewing muscles along with our temporalis on the side of our head. So when those get really tight and jammed up, it'll feel like you have a big ball in your cheek and that's not bone, that's muscle. Um, so you can just go in there and I pincer. And then the first thing I do is kind of pull back and just kind of see where that tension is. And if you're someone who really struggles with this and you have a lot of tension in your TMJ or in the muscles of surrounding your TMJ, you'll feel it right away. But like for me, I don't experience a ton of tension in my TMJ. I don't get clicking, I don't get headaches, I don't get anything from my, my TMJ itself. Um, and by the way, TMJ means temporal mandibular joint, um, and that's just our joint in our jaw that moves our jaw. Um, I meant to say that at the beginning as well, but <laughs> you know, things slip our mind. So, and then after I pull back, I go back to the spots that I feel like are tight and I pincer. Pincer just means pinch. I pinch the area and I kind of work on it with my thumb in small circles or else I just print pinch and I hold. And that's really, um, you can hold it until you feel that area just completely melt and release. And the nice thing about the, the masseter and the pterygoids is that often you will have really awesome releases and you'll, you'll probably even feel, almost feel like it's melting or like if your hands squish together more. Just even the minuscule amounts, um, if you feel that, that means it's releasing. So you're doing a good job. So now I'm gonna go in and kind of show you what, what I do and how I do it.
So that's the first thing that I do. That's the sweeping motion. And when I was working it, I felt like there was some tension right up in here. And that's right where my pterygoids are. And then also where the insertion of my masseter is. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to pinch and I'm going to do the small circles I talked about. And I'm going to pinch and hold as well. So I'll show you kind of what that looks like. I guess there's more tension in there than I thought there was. <laughs> um, so I felt a lot kind of in here. And then as I worked, this is another thing that I want to discuss too. It felt really kind of bulgy at first. And then as I worked, I was able to get deeper into my mouth and feel like there get deeper into the muscle. So as that superficial tension releases and that broad tension releases, you'll be able to get deeper and then um, feel like that maybe like a little ball or the actual nodule where it's coming from. And then also as I got deeper, as that superficial tension released, I started to get referrals. And as we've talked about in previous posts, referrals is one like how you know you have a trigger point in this area and if you have a trigger point and you release it you'll get rid of the referrals you'll probably get rid of some clicking you'll probably get rid of some of the pain that's causing maybe the headache symptoms for you or whatever it may be um, so for me, I was going to the top of my teeth, super, super common with these muscles. You also may feel, so if you feel teeth pain when you're working on it, that's okay, that's normal. Um, just kind of keep pressing and holding that area until it releases, and then you'll feel the muscle release, and then you'll feel the teeth pain go away too. Um, you also may feel your headache symptoms come up. Um, I'm trying to think what else. It, it just pain kind of around the area and into the, the TMJ joint itself as well. So those are some things you can expect. From working on your TMJ but again this is super helpful already on this side like when I'm working on clients I'll kind of give them the option like I'll kind of come out of their mouth and say okay how does that fight side feel compared to this side? and like wow I can already feel it's so much looser so already for me too this side feels a little bit looser and then just make sure you get that other side too even if you feel the majority of your pain on one side or the other just make sure you hit both sides when you're working and you can either switch hands with you can either switch gloves or you can work this way which is going to be a little bit more awkward for me and I'm not going to do it in the video but I hope this helped you guys um I really 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 want you guys especially the ones who said that you have TMJ pain or dysfunction I really would love to, for you to try this at home and just let me know does it help does it work um do you have any questions was there anything that didn't make sense please let me know and I will talk to you guys soon have a great Tuesday